the final option, CIA Ground Branch. The CIA Ground Branch, the covert arm of the Central Intelligence Agency, operating in the shadows to safeguard national security. From clandestine operations to gathering critical intelligence, this video dives into the heart of one of the most secretive yet vital components of modern intelligence. In this video, we uncover the history, missions, and impact of the CIA ground branch, shedding light on its crucial role in shaping global events. The establishment of the CIA ground branch traces back to the early years of the Cold War, a period marked by intense geopolitical competition between the United States and the Soviet Union. In response to the growing threat posed by communist expansionism, the U.S. government recognized the need for a dedicated intelligence agency, capable of conducting covert operations and gathering intelligence on adversaries. Thus, the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, was created in 1947, with the mandate to collect and analyze foreign intelligence and conduct covert activities as directed by the president. During its formative years, the CIA focused primarily on intelligence analysis and covert action abroad, utilizing a combination of human intelligence, HUMINT, signals intelligence, SIGINT, and other sources to gather information on potential threats to U.S. national security. However, it soon became apparent that traditional methods of intelligence collection were insufficient in the face of emerging challenges, particularly in hostile or denied environments where traditional espionage was impractical or risky. To address this gap, the CIA began to develop specialized operational units capable of conducting clandestine missions on the ground. These units, collectively known as the Ground Branch, were tasked with infiltrating foreign territories, gathering intelligence, conducting sabotage operations, and supporting foreign resistance movements. Drawing on the expertise of military special operations forces and experienced operatives from other intelligence agencies, the ground branch quickly established itself as a critical asset in the CIA's arsenal. One of the earliest and most significant missions undertaken by the ground branch was its involvement in the covert operations conducted during the Korean War. Operating behind enemy lines, CIA operatives played a crucial role in gathering intelligence, conducting sabotage operations, and supporting anti-communist guerrilla forces in North Korea and China. These operations, while shrouded in secrecy at the time, laid the groundwork for the ground branch's future role in supporting U.S. military and foreign policy objectives. Throughout the Cold War, the ground branch continued to evolve adapting to new threats and challenges as they emerged. From supporting anti-communist insurgencies in Southeast Asia and Latin America, to conducting covert operations against Soviet-backed regimes in the Middle East and Africa, ground branch operatives were at the forefront of America's covert action efforts around the world. Their contributions, though often hidden from public view, played a significant role in shaping the outcome of key geopolitical conflicts and advancing U.S. interests on the global stage. In the post-Cold War era, the role of the ground branch expanded further, as the United States confronted new threats and challenges in the form of terrorism, transnational crime, and rogue states. Ground branch operatives played a critical role in dismantling terrorist networks, disrupting illicit arms trafficking networks, and countering the spread of weapons of mass destruction. Operating in some of the most dangerous and volatile regions of the world, they demonstrated the CIA's continued relevance in an increasingly complex and interconnected security environment. Today, the CIA ground branch remains a vital component of America's intelligence and national security apparatus, conducting sensitive missions and gathering critical intelligence to support U.S. interests around the world. While much of its work remains classified and shrouded in secrecy, the impact of its operations can be felt on the global stage, as it continues to play a crucial role in safeguarding the nation and its allies against emerging threats and challenges. As we delve deeper into the structure and organization of the ground branch, we will gain a better understanding of its capabilities 
and contributions to U.S. national security. The CIA ground branch operates within a structured framework designed to facilitate its mission of conducting covert operations and gathering intelligence on the ground. While specific details about its organizational structure are classified, certain aspects of its composition and hierarchy have been publicly disclosed, providing insights into its operational dynamics. At the top of the hierarchy is the CIA's Directorate of Operations, DO, which oversees all clandestine activities conducted by the agency, including those carried out by the ground branch. Within the DO, the National Clandestine Services, NCS, is responsible for coordinating and executing covert operations worldwide, with specialized divisions focusing on different regions and mission sets. Within the NCS, the ground branch operates as a distinct entity, consisting of highly trained operatives with expertise in various fields, including surveillance, intelligence collection, and paramilitary operations. These operatives are organized into specialized units known as Special Activities Divisions SAD, which are responsible for carrying out sensitive missions in support of U.S. national security objectives. The structure of the ground branch is designed to be flexible and adaptable, allowing it to respond quickly to emerging threats and challenging operational requirements. Operatives are assigned to units based on their skills, experience, and the specific needs of individual missions with teams often composed of personnel from diverse backgrounds and disciplines. Recruitment and selection for the ground branch are rigorous processes, with candidates undergoing extensive background checks, psychological evaluations, and specialized training programs. Many operatives come from military special operation units of other branches of the U.S. Armed Forces, bringing with them a wealth of experience and expertise in combat operations, intelligence gathering, and foreign languages. Training for ground branch operatives is comprehensive and intensive, covering a wide range of skills and techniques necessary for operating in hostile environments. This includes weapons proficiency, hand-to-hand -hand combat, surveillance and counter-surveillance tactics, and evasion and escape techniques. Operatives also receive specialized training in intelligence collection methods, interrogation techniques, and cultural awareness to facilitate their missions abroad. In addition to its core operational units, the ground branch maintains close partnerships with other elements of the U.S. intelligence community, as well as with foreign intelligence services and military units. This collaboration allows for the sharing of information and resources, as well as the coordination of joint operations in support of common objectives. The primary mission of the CIA ground branch is to conduct covert operations and gather intelligence on the ground in support of U.S. national security objectives. This mission encompasses a wide range of activities, including intelligence collection, covert action, counter-terrorism operations, and support for foreign partners. At its core, the ground branch is tasked with providing policymakers with timely and actionable intelligence to inform decision-making and protect U.S. interests abroad. One of the key objectives of the ground branch is to gather intelligence on potential threats to U.S. national security, including terrorist organizations, hostile foreign governments, and transnational criminal networks. This involves collecting information through a variety of means, including human intelligence, HUMINT, signals intelligence, SIGINT, and open source intelligence. OSINT, as well as through covert surveillance and reconnaissance operations. In addition to intelligence collection, the ground branch is responsible for conducting covert action operations aimed at advancing U.S. foreign policy objectives and disrupting threats to national security. These operations may include sabotage, paramilitary activities, and support for foreign resistance movements, among other tactics. By operating in the shadows, the ground branch is able to carry out these operations discreetly and with minimal risk to U.S. personnel and assets. Counterterrorism is another key focus area for the ground branch, which works closely with other U.S. government agencies and foreign partners to identify, track, and disrupt terrorist networks around the world. This involves gathering intelligence on terrorist activities, targeting key individuals and assets, 
and coordinating with local authorities to apprehend or eliminate terrorist threats. The Ground Branch's expertise in counterterrorism operations has been instrumental in preventing attacks against the United States and its allies. Supporting foreign partners is also a vital aspect of the Ground Branch's mission, as it seeks to build relationships with friendly governments and security forces, and assist them in addressing mutual security challenges. This may involve providing training, equipment, and intelligence support to foreign military and law enforcement agencies, as well as conducting joint operations and exercises to enhance interoperability and coordination. The CIA Ground Branch employs a variety of operational tactics and techniques to carry out its mission of conducting covert operations and gathering intelligence on the ground. These tactics are designed to enable operatives to operate discreetly in hostile or denied environments, gather critical information, and execute sensitive missions with precision and effectiveness. One of the primary tactics employed by the Ground Branch is the conduct of covert operations, which are activities carried out in secret to achieve specific objectives without attribution to the United States government. Covert operations may include sabotage, subversion, and other clandestine activities aimed at advancing U.S. national security interests or disrupting threats to U.S. interests abroad. These operations are carefully planned and executed to minimize the risk of detection and attribution. The Ground Branch utilizes a variety of methods to gather intelligence on potential threats to U.S. national security, including human intelligence, human, signals intelligence, SIGINT, and imagery intelligence, IMINT. HUMINT involves the recruitment and handling of human sources to collect information from foreign targets, while SIGINT involves the interception and analysis of electronic communications. IMINT involves the collection and analysis of imagery from satellites, drones, and other sources to provide insight into enemy activities and capabilities. By leveraging these intelligence-gathering methods, the ground branch is able to collect critical information on potential threats and vulnerabilities. Surveillance and reconnaissance play a crucial role in the ground branch's operations, allowing operatives to monitor and track the movement of targets, gather intelligence on enemy activities, and assess potential threats. Ground branch operatives utilize a variety of surveillance techniques, including physical surveillance, electronic surveillance, and aerial surveillance, to gather real-time intelligence on targets and assess their intentions and capabilities. This information is used to inform operational planning and decision-making, and to support the execution of sensitive missions. The ground branch employs state-of-the-art technology and equipment to support its operations, including surveillance equipment, communication devices, and specialized weapons and gear. This technology enables operatives to operate effectively in challenging environments and to gather intelligence and execute missions with precision and efficiency. Ground branch operatives are trained to use a wide range of equipment and to adapt to rapidly changing operational environments, ensuring that they remain effective and agile in the field. Overall, the operational tactics and techniques employed by the CIA Ground Branch are designed to enable operatives to conduct covert operations and gather intelligence on the ground with precision, effectiveness, and discretion. By leveraging a combination of covert tactics, intelligence gathering methods, surveillance and reconnaissance techniques, and cutting-edge technology and equipment, the Ground Branch is able to advance U.S. national security interests and protect the country against emerging threats and challenges. As we explore the controversies and criticisms surrounding the Ground Branch's activities, we will examine the ethical and legal considerations associated with its operations and their implications for U.S. national security policy. Despite its vital role in protecting national security, the CIA Ground Branch has not been immune to controversies and criticisms surrounding its activities. The clandestine nature of its operations, combined with the inherently sensitive and often morally ambiguous nature of covert action, has led to scrutiny from various quarters, including lawmakers, human rights advocates, and the media. One of the primary criticisms leveled at the CIA Ground Branch is the ethical implications of its covert operations. Critics argue that secrecy surrounding these operations can lead to abuses of power, 
violations of human rights, and the undermining of democratic principles. In particular, allegations of torture, rendition, and targeted killings have raised serious ethical questions about the ground branch's activities and their compliance with international law and standards of conduct. Another area of concern is the lack of accountability and transparency surrounding the ground branch's activities. Due to the classified nature of its operations, the ground branch operates with a high degree of secrecy, making it difficult for the public to assess its actions and hold it accountable for any wrongdoing. Critics argue that this lack of transparency can lead to abuses of power and violations of civil liberties, undermining public trust in government institutions and eroding democratic norms. Allegations of human rights abuses have plagued the ground branch, particularly in the aftermath of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. Reports of torture, rendition, and extrajudicial killings carried out by CIA operatives have raised serious concerns about the agent's adherence to legal and ethical standards. While the CIA has defended its actions as necessary to protect national security, critics argue that such tactics are not only immoral, but also counterproductive, fueling anti-American sentiment and undermining efforts to combat terrorism. The ground branch's covert activities have often been sensationalized and distorted by the media, leading to negative public perceptions and misconceptions about its role and function. Movies, television shows, and books depicting CIA operatives as ruthless and amoral agents have contributed to a popular image of the agency as a shadowy and unaccountable force. While some of these portrayals may be based on reality, they often fail to capture the complexities and nuances of the ground branch's operations and the difficult decisions its operatives must make in the pursuit of national security. To understand the impact and significance of the CIA ground branch's operations, it's essential to examine specific case studies and examples that highlight its contributions to national security. While many of these operations remain classified or shrouded in secrecy, certain historical examples provide insights into the ground branch's capabilities and effectiveness in achieving its objectives. One of the most infamous CIA operations involving the ground branch is Operation Ajax, which took place in Iran in 1953. The operation aimed to overthrow the democratically elected government of Prime Minister Mohammad Mossadegh, who had nationalized Iran's oil industry, threatening Western interests in the region. With support from British intelligence, the CIA orchestrated a coup d'etat, installing the Shah of Iran as the country's ruler and reinstating Western control over its oil resources. While successful in the short term, Operation Ajax had long-term consequences, including the rise of anti-American sentiment in Iran and the eventual Islamic Revolution in 1979. During the Cold War, the CIA ground branch played a key role in supporting anti-Soviet resistance movements in Afghanistan, most notably through Operation Cyclone. Launched in the late 1970s, Operation Cyclone aimed to provide weapons, training, and financial support to Afghan Mujahideen fighters battling Soviet forces during the Soviet-Afghan War. Through covert channels, the CIA funneled billions of dollars in aid to the Mujahideen helping to turn the tide of the war and eventually forcing the Soviet Union to withdraw its troops from Afghanistan. However, the unintended consequences of this support, including the rise of Islamist extremism and the Taliban, would have far-reaching implications for regional stability and global security. In more recent years, the CIA ground branch played a crucial role in the operation that led to the death of Osama bin Laden the leader of the terrorist organization Al-Qaeda. Codenamed Operation Neptune Spear, the operation involved a team of Navy SEALs conducting a raid on bin Laden's compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan, in May 2011. CIA operatives played a vital role in gathering intelligence on bin Laden's whereabouts, surveilling the compound, and coordinating the raid with Pakistani authorities. The successful operation dealt a significant blow to Al-Qaeda and demonstrated the ground branch's ability to conduct high-risk missions with precision and effectiveness. These case studies illustrate the diverse range of operations 
conducted by the CIA ground branch and their impact on U.S. national security and foreign policy. While each operation presents its own unique challenges and complexities, they collectively demonstrate the ground branch's ability to achieve strategic objectives through covert action and intelligence gathering. As the global security landscape continues to evolve, the CIA ground branch faces a myriad of future challenges and opportunities. From emerging threats to technological advancements, the ground branch must adapt and innovate to maintain its effectiveness in an increasingly complex and interconnected world. One of the primary challenges facing the CIA ground branch is the rise of new and emerging threats to U.S. national security. From terrorism and insurgency to cyber warfare and disinformation campaigns, the ground branch must remain vigilant and proactive in identifying and countering these threats. This requires continuous monitoring of global trends and developments, as well as close coordination with other intelligence agencies and foreign partners. Advancements in technology present both opportunities and challenges for the CIA ground branch. On one hand, technological innovations such as artificial intelligence, big data analytics, and cyber capabilities offer new tools and capabilities for intelligence collection and analysis. On the other hand, these same technologies also present new vulnerabilities and risks, including the potential for cyber attacks, electronic surveillance, and information warfare. The ground branch must stay abreast of these developments and invest in cutting-edge technology and training to maintain its competitive edge in the intelligence arena. Like many government agencies, the CIA ground branch faces budgetary constraints and resource limitations that can impact its ability to carry out its mission effectively. In the era of fiscal austerity and competing priorities, the ground branch must prioritize its activities and allocate resources judiciously to address the most pressing threats and challenges. This may require making difficult trade-offs and finding innovative ways to do more with less. The CIA ground branch operates in a highly politicized and scrutinized environment, where its actions are subject to public scrutiny and congressional oversight. While transparency and accountability are essential for maintaining public trust and confidence, excessive scrutiny and politicization can impede the agency's ability to carry out its mission effectively. The ground branch must strike a balance between transparency and operational security, ensuring that it can operate effectively while upholding democratic principles and the rule of law. As geopolitical dynamics continue to shift, the CIA ground branch must adapt its strategies and operations to reflect new realities and emerging challenges. This may involve refocusing resources and capabilities on priority regions and mission sets, forging new partnerships and alliances, and developing innovative approaches to address evolving threats. By staying agile and responsive to changing circumstances, the ground branch can remain at the forefront of U.S. intelligence and national security efforts. The CIA ground branch faces a range of challenges and opportunities in the years ahead. By addressing emerging threats, leveraging technological advancements, navigating budgetary constraints, maintaining transparency and accountability, and adapting to geopolitical shifts, the ground branch can continue to fulfill its mission of protecting U.S. national security and advancing the country's interests around the world. As we reflect on the history and impact of the ground branch, it is clear that its role in shaping global events and safeguarding the nation's security remains as vital as ever. The CIA ground branch, we're left pondering its intricate role in global security. What are your thoughts on the balance between secrecy and accountability in intelligence operations? Share your insights in the comments below.